this is in regards to my last video where I talked about Ghanaian men. There were a lot of points that I didn't point in that video. And in this one, I want to point out those facts. I talked about Ghanaian men being one of the best in Africa. And I'm not taking my words back not anytime soon and not forever because when it comes to generosity they are there nobody can tell me otherwise Ghanaian men actually are very very generous in relationship one thing you have to know is that a man will only give you when they love you and a man will do anything for the woman he loves the only time you may have gone through that in the hands of a man is either he does not have or he he don't he don't love you a man gives to the woman the love in case you don't know this part when a man fall out of love with you or never loves you but just be with you because of maybe his own personal benefits he may not be kind to you so i said in that video i think i I missed the point. I said that a Ghanaian man will be stingy to you because you dislike Ghana or you dislike his people. I was wrong. A Ghanaian man will actually want to convince you to love Ghana if he knows you do not. Once he realizes you do not, rather than him keeping you in a relationship and punishing you, he will never do that. He will only struggle, try his best to make you love. And in this video, I'm ready to give one example of that of such you know so and i also said that he didn't you know treat you right because he hates where you're from yeah that point i'm not about to take that entirely back but it's not just Ghanaian men no. a man from any part of the world or woman who dislike your people who may have gone through a lot in the hands of your people may definitely want to be with you just to carry out their revenge in their hearts what they feel or what they have gone through in the hands of your people so i hope you get it that time i missed the points i didn't point it right so today i'm pointing it right and i'm going to continue talking i hope you're ready to learn i hope you're ready to listen and please don't forget to like this video if you have not already liked don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share why you should date a Ghanaian man today. Ghanaian men are actually one of the most generous people I have met in my life. I have been in a relationship with. In that video, I reacted to the American lady who have stereotyped Ghanaian men and in her words, they are stingy and never taking care of their women. So I talked about it from my own experience, but there's something I didn't do. I think I was more focused on nigerians ghanaian i didn't talk about other other nationality when i know that we are everywhere and we mingle love has no love itself is a language so people from other nationality of other race from time to time fall in love you know randomly like that so the way i talked about it the other time i was more emphasizing on ghana nigeria right that is due to personal experience my own experiences but i want to tell you today that i wasn't joking when i say Ghanaian men are the most generous in a relationship and another point is why you should date and marry a Ghanaian man today apart from being them apart from them being generous it is very very hard to see a Ghanaian man that will raise his hand and physically abuse a woman I hope you get it you will never like for me i'm not saying they don't exist at all at all but it is real like if you're gonna see of all the hundred percent of people you will see of men in ghana the hundred percent of men in ghana i think is only ten percent or even less that will raise up their hand to physically abuse a woman this is why i always you know beat my chest to say that Ghanaian men are the best apart from them being generous if i have said they are generous is because i have dated a Ghanaian or two like i said in my other video i've been in a relationship with one or two men from ghana and i repeat i think the heaven is my weakness i have never had to deal with um the stingy like i've never had issues with them when it comes to giving they have been giving freely i mean in fact when it comes to giving it has never been an issue and i have never had to like struggle to get anything from my man as um 
like in that relationship so another point that i want to point out today that i really really recommend that you go on with a Ghanaian man is the fact that they will never it's very hard to see a Ghanaian man that will physically abuse you that will raise off his hand and beat you rough your face they exist but it's just the lowest population the lowest number of the population that can do that okay and when you see that it's very easy for the law to take it cost especially in ghana here when you report an abusive man to the ghanaian police as a woman you have upper hand especially if you have evidence against that so you get it so this is why you should date one of course ghanaian men has their issues they have they have other struggles that like for me i think i've talked about that in my former relationship where our only problem was me not being a Canyon yet, but I can't come out today and generalize. And that is why in that video, I said that if you must date a man from Ghana or a Ghanaian man, you make sure, make sure that he likes your people. I'm not entirely saying he agrees with everything about your people, but it shouldn't be someone that don't like where you're from. You know, there are people like that. They don't like the idea of your people. They don't like your people due to maybe what they have gone through in the hands of your people. So this is not just about Nigeria, okay? It's not just about Nigerians. So if you are from any part of the world and you are contemplating of going into, you are contemplating if you should or shouldn't date a Ghanaian man because you may have seen some videos circulating the internet that they are stingy that one i can beat my chest to say go on ahead and date him and if he's stingy to you come and hold me and i'll pay you okay i'm not saying you should give your money and definitely stinginess is not one of the things that um is the issue there so for me i have my struggle with Ghanaian men and it's not something i want to sit here and generalize but i always i will always defend them when it comes to generosity they are extremely generous okay. of course maybe you may have dated a Ghanaian man that you struggled to get something from i want to tell you the truth maybe it has to be with the fact that he doesn't have trust it like it or not people will always give you what they have yes as a matter of fact if you're dating a guy who has money he will give it to you and maybe you have being unfortunate to be with someone that is still struggling for me i don't consider anybody poor but i can say broke at the moment so maybe you have you know found yourself in love with someone that is still struggling financially that way sorry i can't help you you may have to struggle not because it's stingy is definitely because he does not have and in that video, I talked about Ghanaian men getting back at you probably because you dislike his people. I was wrong. A Ghanaian man will actually want to convince you to love Ghana if he knows you don't. Once he realizes you do not. One of my friends today is pregnant for her husband who is a Ghanaian. She is this Nigerian girl that, Nigerian girl that detests Ghanaian men. But her husband, knowing that she's like that he made it a duty to make her fall in love with everything about his people his food and they are living happily and expecting their baby so if you are dating a Ghanaian man the only thing you may struggle is not necessarily gonna be um stinginess for me my own experience should i even talk about it i think i should so that things can be corrected right my own experience dating and keeping a relationship with a Ghanaian man had always been, I feel like indecision. Maybe it's um, my fate, my destiny. I've not come across someone that is decisive to say, okay, I'm ready to do this. I'm ready to be with this girl. I'm ready to be with this woman. So I feel like that, in, like it's hard to decide. The one minute is as if I have to chase him to remind him that he I'm the one that he said he want to be with, but this is not something I want to generalize. This is strictly my experience. I want, I wouldn't be generalizing. Oh, okay, he's doing this to me because he's a Ghanaian, right? Because of course, if that should be just about Ghanaian men, I don't think I would have been single by now. I would have, I should have been married to a man 
or still be in a relationship with a man from my country, right? Because before I came to Ghana and started living here and then falling in love here, I have dated back home in my own country. The relationship ended. Whatever led to that is not something I'm going to sit down and say, okay, Nigerian men are this, right? So if I have said that now, Ghanaian men will only treat you bad when they hate where you're from, I think I made a mistake. It's not only Ghanaian men. A Nigerian, I really don't know. Do Nigerians even hate anyway? That is coming strictly from my own experience because I've had to deal with someone that constantly complained about Nigerians. Okay, he complained bitterly about them, how they are these. Sometimes you don't even want to hear. You don't want to hear anything that concerns Nigerians. And I feel like I start to feel insecure and I was waiting. I feel like one day it's going to revenge. It's going to do something to me. So if you are in a relationship with a Ghanaian man, um, all the points I made in that video, you may ignore them, okay? Uh, maybe I'm just that kind of person that is a bit proactive. I'm that kind of person. I like to act ahead. So maybe that hates her of the people of my country due to what they have due to what they may have done to him if i had given him a chance and see but i don't want to experiment i don't want to i don't want to put my heart out there for experiments to be able to know what will come out of it so i said that avoid the ones that hate your people so but i don't know i think someone may hate where you're from and still be nice to you but it's not me that will experiment it i won't put my heart out there for that experiment so in case you want to you want to give it a try you can try okay so actually Ghanaian man won't treat you bad just because you hate Ghana in fact the ones that I know want to try their best to convince you to love Ghana and love their people so I made that mistake in that video okay well I always campaign that you love a place you live in if you are living in Nigeria and you want the land to bless you love the land this one is all about me saying you come out and preach to the people i love ghana i love nigeria i love america but just the way to show that you love the country your country of host is not even by saying it is by doing what is right in that land it's by not putting the land, the country down with your mouth. Oh, this country waiting there, nothing there. You know, they just, you know, those hard words that people use on a country. So these are the things I'm talking about. So Ghanaian man won't be wicked to you because you hate his country. Okay. But he will try his best to convince, convince you to love his country. So I hope that I've cleared the hair, okay? So if you have been in a bad relationship with a Ghanaian man, it's not because it's from Ghana. It's just that natural thing. Because if, if not, a lot of people would have still been in their relationship, right, with whoever they dated first, if you didn't break up. And then breaking up doesn't mean that the man or the people from the man or the people from the country where your last relationship or your past relationship is from are all bad okay so i hope i corrected that Niger Ghanaian men will not want to treat you bad because you hate ghana but he would rather have you not physically put his people down all the time just my piece of advice i am done with this video i will see you in my next one bye